We are literally living in the end times. It really breaks my heart and saddens me to see how evil this world is becoming every single day. The other day I was out to eat with my husband. It was our anniversary. As I was in the bathroom stall, I realized in my purse I had a little extra mini Bible keychain. I was like, let me leave this here for someone. You don't know who might need to see this in this moment. Let me just leave a little reminder and plant a little seed that, hey, Jesus loves you. If you were looking for a sign, this might be your sign. Have them a little bit curious about what's inside. What I looked at as so innocent and so pure and so such a just kind thing to do was received as hateful ignorant and forceful of my religion majority of the comments on that video people are saying i would spit on it i would flush it down the toilet i would throw it out i will burn it it's insane how many of the comments are saying things like that to see something so innocent and so good viewed as something so hateful and forceful of my beliefs and it reminds me of that verse in the bible where it says in the last days people will hate what is good and love what is evil. That is exactly what my mind goes to. By me doing something as simple as leaving a little mini Bible keychain, there was even a comment that said, I'm gonna start leaving my P-O-R-N books for kids to see. And to think that they are comparing something disgusting and wicked and evil and immoral to something so holy just shows the lines have literally been blurred. There is no comparison between that and the Bible. Some people were saying, oh, I'm going to start leaving my LGBTQ flags. And it's like, go look around. That is already everywhere. It's in our kids' cartoons, our kids' shows. It's in movies, music, Target. You can walk into Target and see a whole display. But God forbid we want to spread a little bit of the gospel. God forbid we want to leave a little mini Bible. And if you don't like it, if you're not a believer, that's cool. Keep it pushing. It's not for you. Maybe the seed will be for the next person. But it just it blew my mind i'm not even angry at the comments because i'm not even going back and forth with people i actually left all the evil comments there i know some people would probably have deleted them but i actually want the world to see just how dark and evil we have become you know what i did i prayed for them father forgive them for they do not know what they're doing the very people that said i would burn it are going to literally have to eat those words if they do not repent that's what breaks my heart is at the end of this life when they are facing god they're going to have to recount those words that they said they would burn the bible those are the very people that if they do not repent will be burned in the fire i pray for them because i don't want them to go through that i don't want them to have eternal separation from god but if they do not repent that is their fate whether they believe in this book or not that is the truth I don't know. I just feel grieved. What we've experienced, what we've encountered with God, we know that it's the truth. We know that he is the truth. He is the way. He is the life. And to think that so many people think that that is just our beliefs and it's not factual, it saddens me. And I just pray that they get to know Jesus. The world is not going to like us. They're going to hate us. Why? Because they hated Jesus first. Something so innocent, so good, so pure is now viewed as hateful and evil. The world will hate what is good and love what is evil.